Hey again! If you watched part one, you know a lot about ionic blow dryers and the benefits of how they interact with your hair. Ionic blow dryers are great, but there are other important features a blow dryer should have. So in this video, I think it's important to talk about them. For blow dryers, the wattage determines how powerful the airflow is and how hot the blow dryer can get. Both are equally important. So try not to focus just on finding a blow dryer with the highest wattage. An ideal blow dryer is one that has a feature where you can control the airflow and the heat levels separately. This way, you have more control to find a true wattage output that's best for your hair. Here's an example. These buttons are the airflow controls and these buttons are the separate heat level controls. Notice how the wattage shown here as W increases and decreases with both the air and heat controls separately. So this blow dryer cannot admit its full power, in this case 1875 watts, until both the airflow and heat levels are on max. This is an important feature that gives you more control with avoiding heat damage. And it doesn't have to be a button with a screen. It can be a dial or a switch. Just keep in mind, the more settings, the better. So for the purpose of stretching your natural hair, a blow dryer with a max wattage of 1800 to 2000 is more than enough. Before using a blow dryer with a higher wattage, do your research and have a clear understanding of blow dryers. Know your hair and understand how much heat it can handle. An ideal blow dryer should also have a cool blast feature and attachments, especially a condenser nozzle, because it creates a more concentrated airflow. So you have more control over which section of your hair to expose to heat at a time. It also keeps your hair further away from the hot coils in the blow dryer which is a bonus. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about heat protectants and if they're really that important. I hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.